What's my elevator speech? My pitch? What would I tell you about the correctional profession if I only had a couple of minutes to highlight the highlights? What do you need to know? What are some frequently asked questions about the profession? All right, yeah, hey, yeah. Well, number one, size ain't shit. I get a lot of questions from people wondering if their stature, that th their size contributes to their success inside, in this profession. And I always emphatically answer, no. Some of us are tall, short, thin, fat, jacked. We come in all shapes and sizes. It's really more about your heart. How you handle yourself as a human being, capiche? Number two, most agencies have a similar hiring process. There's an application, interview, physical test, drug test, psych test, and a background check. And all of those things take time, like a lot of time. So be patient throughout the process and if you have questions regarding your status, reach out to the agency you applied for. Someone should know something. Number three, overtime is all the time. This could be a good thing and a not so good thing. It's good because without a degree, you could make a really good living. And it's not so good because to do that, you'll have to spend most of your life inside. My suggestion is to pace yourself. Don't work your weekends. And well, don't spend more than you make. Overtime can dry up at any time, and if it does, if that extra cash goes away, well, I want you to be okay. So try to live within your means off your base salary. It's just my two cents. Number four, corrections can be super overwhelming, especially in the beginning. Expect to be besieged by policy, procedure, rules, regulation, case law. It's like drinking through a fire hose. So pay attention, soak it all up, and ask questions, lots and lots of questions. Five. This is not really an everybody gets a trophy kind of job. Most agencies acknowledge some sort of seniority, which means in the beginning, you're gonna have to have crappy days off. You're gonna have to work the crappy shift. Then you're going to have to work the units. See, in corrections, you kind of have to pay your dues, but I promise you, if you, if you stick it out, if you stick around, it gets better. Number six, you may have difficulty dealing with veteran staff. And there are a thousand reasons for this, but I will say one of the biggest barriers to the bonding is trust. They don't know you. They don't know what you will or won't do. And it takes time to build that trust, the, the, the rapport. But you will. So don't get discouraged. Just do what you're supposed to do and one day you'll be that old grouchy veteran that doesn't want to talk to the new boots. I, I did a video about this a while back. Put a link up top if you want to check it out. Number seven, this career changes the way that you live your life, the way you view the world, the way you interact with your family and friends, your schedule, your attitude, where you sit when you go out to eat. I've written two books about this very thing. I'll put a link in the comments below if you're interested. Number eight, the benefits are pretty good. Vacation time, comp time, sick time, paid holidays, all the boring adult stuff that we need to worry about, like, like health insurance, life insurance, pension plans, etc. Make sure to ask about those things when you interview. Number nine, no, you do not need to have prior experience to get into corrections. Most of us didn't, the, the, the universe just pushed us, just, just led us to this career. Well, if you're thinking about it, but you aren't sure if you have the necessary experience, well, you're right, you don't, but none of us did. So who cares? If you can communicate, multitask, and understand that you have to show up to work on time, you'll be fine. We'll teach you everything else. So if you're looking to get into corrections and for some weird reason stumbled across this channel, I say give it a try. This right here may be your sign to go apply. Well, watch another one of my videos, so subscribe, and then go apply. If you like this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. Comment and share this content with anyone and everyone that you think may be interested. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. I'll, I'll drop the link in the comments below. And then if you're still craving more premium correctional content, you can check out this video right here or this video right here. All right, guys, that's all I got until next time. Be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon.